Okay, we're going to start with the hot end whip pack. And that includes a Bowden tube, uh, the mesh loom, uh, bulkhead connector, such like that, and our wires. So for this bit, we need to go ahead and get the loom out of the package. Oops, scatters that everywhere. So we've got our wiring loom and the bulkhead connector. We're going to use that here in a second. So, put the heat shrink and the other stuff aside. And then we need to get our wiring out of this package. Set these connectors aside. We'll use these in a second. Okay, now this wiring bundle is pre terminated. Okay, so you want to get it all spooled out. Okay, like so. And then what we're going to do is route this mess through the wiring loom. Okay, and in order to make that task easier, we're going to use scotch tape to uh, help it go through. So take your scotch tape and we're just going to bundle this up on the end. Like so. And then we'll go ahead and we'll open this up a little bit. And you can tell the, the end is kind of toasted a little bit. So you may need to open that up a little bit with a screwdriver. Okay. And then slide that in there like so. And it'll come out the other end at some point <laughs> we'll probably have to open up now that, that, that end is okay and the loom will try to grab the wire which is why I'm having a small issue with this. Grab a little push some more and we'll keep working our way through. Be that. Okay. Let's get the rest of this through the loom. And as you can see you pull that out. And there you go. And you want to keep it all as even as you can. And there we go. Okay. Now that we've got this handled, we'll go ahead and get the uh, wiring through the cable mount hub here. And that's really easy to do. You just take that. And because this is the, the hot end, uh, end of the wire you want to pass it through like so and that's it okay next we need to get the the heat shrink tubing that's going to fit over the eight position connector opened up a little bit it's just a little bit undersized for the task so what we need to do is take a pair of needle nose pliers and gently stretch the heat shrink open a little bit, you see. Just a little bit at a time to get it to fit properly, okay? And you wanna do it without, uh, without doing damage to the heat shrink. You don't wanna tear it or poke a hole in it. 
and the idea is is that you want it to fit over the end of the connector like so. And you can see that it still needs a little bit of stretching so I'm going to work on that and I'll return in a second. Okay so now that you've got your heat shrink stretched out a little bit we'll go ahead and we'll take the tape off the end of the wires here and get them inserted into the connector. Now this connector is really kind of small but it is easy to work with. Okay, The uh, wires fit in the little holes here and they're push in. There's no uh, connectors inside that you have to worry about manipulating or anything else like that. You do need to make sure which position is number one. And looking at the connector, it's really kind of hard to see. But if you see how I have it oriented, this pin here is number one. Okay. So using the wiring guide in the manual or in the documentation, uh, go ahead and start populating these positions. The first wire that goes in is going to be the orange wire. Okay. So we'll get that wire here. And this goes into that first position. Okay. And each, you'll notice that each wire is pre stripped. So all you have to do is pull the insulation off of it. Okay. And just insert the wire. And it goes into this position here. So just go ahead and slide that in there. And it goes all the way in. And you might want to grab a get of those pliers and just keep pushing a little bit at a time until it's completely seated. And it looks like that one is right about there. And try not to damage the wire with your, your pliers. And then go ahead and, and uh, okay, finish so, the rest of them off. Now that you've got your connector on there, we need to slide the loom farther down uh, so we can tighten it up. Let's go ahead and do that. And the idea being is that he, we want to get the loom or the, the the mesh tubing here really close to that connector because what we're going to do is apply a wire tie to the end of it here okay so you want to get it about like so okay and we're going to use the wire tie to essentially bind the loom to it. Now what you want to do is right about there, you only want about 10 millimeters or so, okay, get it reasonably close. 10 millimeters is just a little bit less than a half inch. So I'll get in there, get that all nice and tightened, and then clip that off. Now, if you're like me, you probably had problems with your your heat shrink tubing wanting to stay stretched out. Because I don't know about you, but I was worried about tearing it. So what I did is I decided to worry about stretching it further just before it was time to put onto that connector. So that is what I'm working on right now. Once I have this on the connector, I'll be back. Okay, so I have managed to get the heat shrink on there. It's a little bit worse for wear, but it's on there. I'm going to use a lighter to shrink it. Um, 
when you use a lighter instead of a heat gun, you need to be really careful that you don't burn or char the uh, heat shrink tubing. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of. And you want to keep the, if you're using a lighter, keep it moving. Don't let it sit in one spot, otherwise it'll get really hot. And you'll do damage to either the the loom material or the heat shrink or the connector. And you don't want to do that. Just be patient, take your time. Don't burn yourself. And don't burn yourself is probably the most important part. And there we go. Go ahead and set that down, let it cool, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now we need to position the uh, fitting here in the proper spot along the cable. For that, we need a tape. And we're gonna set this tape way out because we need to have 32 inches from the connector to the point where we need to have this fitting set. So we'll go ahead and we'll run this all the way out. And then at the 32 inch point, we'll start tightening this thing down, okay? In order to do this, you're gonna need some wrenches. So I've got a left-handed socket wrench and a right-handed socket wrench. And we'll just tighten these things down until it's gripping that cable. Check to make sure that we're still at the 32 inch point. Oh, pretty close. Pull that just a little bit more. And there we go. So finish tightening this down. I'm going to try anyway. Oh, now it doesn't want to fit, really? It helps if learn how to use the tool properly, right? And there we go. See it all compressed down, it's fitting it properly. And now we're ready for the next step. Okay, now we need to put the other two connectors on the end of the wiring whip. And the first one is going to be for fan zero. Okay, so go ahead and pull the pre-stripped end off the wire and grab one of your compression terminals. And it goes into this position here. Okay. Just go ahead and slide it in there. Get a small flat bladed screwdriver and tighten that sucker down. Like that. See? Okay, now go ahead and grab the other connector. And this belongs to these two big red and black wires here. I'll go ahead and pull the pre-stripped ends off of here and then grab the connector and this goes together like this red on the, the top here black on the bottom
one. There you go. See, fits just like so. And that completes the uh, wiring whip. And you're ready to move on to the next task.